Greetings, good people. Bald Head Haverford here, and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I hope that you do choose to stay. There's plenty of room for here for you, okay? So pull up, lend me about 15 to 20 minutes of your time, maybe 30, okay? But either way, it's going to be worth it because I'm going to channel a very relevant and resourceful message for whomever is drawn to this reading. And for those of you who are returning, thank you so very much. I really, I really, I really, 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 appreciate my OGs and my returnees, okay? So let's get going because I'm amped up. I'm ready. I am ready to get this reading out. I don't know what the reading is going to be about, but I'm feeling ready, okay? So I know that I'm going to channel something that is going to be um, timeless for sure, but the message just feels effortless. Once I get the cards out, I'll know exactly who and what I'm talking about, but spirit is like on the edge, like let's talk, let's talk, let's get it, let's get it. So without further ado, I'm calling in the spirit of love, the spirit of light, wholeness, sweet spirit of honesty and accuracy. Thank you for using me as a trusted and true vessel to bring about a message for the collective. May this message be one of healing, one of truth, and one of resource. Okay, one more good little shuffle. We're going to get it popping. All right, spirit, show me more and show me clearly. All right, so what came out? Ace of Winter. So somebody's being granted <clears throat> like a truth. Something, somebody's digesting truth right now. You, was, you, were given, you were given some type of truth, possibly about a job about some money okay because the king of autumn or the king of pentacles in this particular deck is called the king of autumn the king of autumn has come out okay this could be about your money what's going on show me clearly show me more show me clearly there's been some type of something's been revealed king of summer kings king of cups okay so i'm gonna tell you right off the bat what it's giving me was somebody stolen from did someone steal from you because it feels like Something had to be reestablished. Some type of trust had to be reestablished. Some type of, um, and I don't know if it came from betrayal or some type of loss. Let's see. It feels like I'm speaking to somebody who maybe you're, maybe you had someone from your past, a, a past lover, past mate, past husband, past wife. So if it's like someone from your past may have may have stolen money from you, okay, and maybe that is causing you to be very um, distrusting, dishonest, or had past tense. It had you that way, but I think that something's been reestablished with this Ace of Winter. This is the Ace of Ace of Swords, okay, in the traditional tarot. That when you get the Ace of Swords, that's a reestablishment. Or restoring of faith, a restoring of trust. Okay, you're getting your you're getting your mojo back. You're getting fortitude. It's like a boost of perseverance. Okay, being able to move forward after finding out something or after experiencing something that you know pissed you off and it really kind of blew your mind. Like what the beep? <laughs> but it feels like because of this King of Autumn that it has something to do with your money like i think i'm speaking to somebody who's way too kind so maybe you just got taken it maybe you had gotten because all of that feels past tense it doesn't feel like it, it it's happening it feel like it happened okay so but you were very compassionate okay very willing to give we're, we're very open and 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 sharing and maybe somebody came in and um took advantage of that but I also believe that you have met someone, and I could be speaking to male or female, okay? But I believe you have met someone, and now that's being reestablished. This person is helping you reestablish that. Somebody is coming back in to help you regain trust, okay? Um, I think they give good advice because they are very from the heart type of people, okay? So you feel a different vibration with this person already anyway. So I feel like you you probably dating somebody that's of a whole total different vibration um, than what the person was who, you know, maybe stole from you or may help you, not helped you, but made you lose some money, okay? That person um, 
not really sure. They could have been an air sign, okay? They could have been a Libra, Scorpio, Gemini. Just that type of energy. They don't necessarily have to be that um, that sign, but they just have the energy of, of an air person, okay? Also, spirit is speaking right now. So, was it was it not that they left you? Or oh, wait, wait, okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing it. See, I know... <laughs> When spirit just be on me like that, it's very, because it, it has a lot it wants to say. Okay, I got to calm myself down because I just heard a message. <sighs> Somebody was left with a lot of bills. There was a breakup and there was a lot of financial responsibility left on you because of the breakup. And the person that broke up with you purposely left you with all the bills. So for some of you, it could have been theft. It could have been they stole from you. Or for another few of you, they just could have got you in a lot of debt. Or you you willingly took out loans for them. Or you gave them money, loaned them money, gave them, gifted them with stuff. And they just never paid it back. And now y'all broke up and you know, you know you're not going to get it back. Or, like I just mentioned... Um, they just left you in a shitload of debt, okay? That's that's what I'm feeling. Um, you're coming on through that because, again, that feels like it was past tense. It feels like you've been doing the work. You've been praying about the forgiveness. You've been praying about moving past that because I feel like you are ready to get back out on the market. You want to start dating again, but maybe you have been meeting people who... You don't feel like, I don't think you've been meeting people that remind you of that person, but maybe you haven't met anybody that made you feel any different than that person. But I think either someone's coming or you just met someone that is giving you that, mm, okay, maybe he or she is a little different. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Sorry sorry about that. Y'all have to calm myself down <laughs> when, when that energy gets on me like that because it'll just start channeling so many different scenarios and uh, then I get tongue-tied and sound like a fool <laughs> on the video okay okay so I think I got it I got that out enough now before I pull more cards let me say again this person I think you know that you can trust them it's something very trusting and warm about this person's energy okay they could be a cancer person or a um water sign person pisces scorpio this feels like someone whose waters are going to be refreshed or refreshing okay it doesn't feel like someone who is going to come through and um offer you the same low vape low vibrational energy of the person that you experience the turbulence with okay all right and you yourself may be an earth sign okay i'm picking up on capricorn taurus virgo okay now that's not definitive that's just from a zodiacal energy i can pick up on certain energies based on the cards but that does not mean that that's that that's exact okay you could be any sign and your person could be any sign the person from the past could be any sign right all right Show me more and show me clearly. Yes, 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 and yes. So you had an epiphany, and I knew that, okay? I knew that. This is the um, Hanged Man card, okay? It's called the Awakening in this deck. But I knew that you had had some type of epiphany, some type of light bulb moment. Something happened that is changing the way you're looking at a lot of stuff. So I believe the, the, the type of people that you dated Oh, I say, I just heard something. Listen, this is not the first time this has happened to you. This isn't the first time this has happened to you. That's why this happened because it. this was the universe's way of shaking you up because this has happened on multiple occasions. You allowing people to use you. I think I'm talking to somebody who gets used. Okay, but you don't get used because you're dumb. You get used because some people get used because they're dumb and let's just be frank and let's just be honest right but not you 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 got used because you are a very compassionate giving loving person okay and i believe that once you feel like you have met someone um who shares the same vibration or you have a connection so you think you know it's nothing for them to get stuff out of you right 
because you're not a stingy person. You are very, and then you are a blessed person. So I think whoever you are, you're prosperous, okay? You're a blessed person. So when people ask things of you and and you do choose to bless them, you in your mind, you don't see it as, you know, it's no big deal. Because in your mind, okay, I love this person. Yeah, I don't mind. So, but I believe that has happened to you one too many times. I feel like spirit is saying that there are red flags that you keep missing because of your big green heart. And I say green because the heart space is green. But because you have a very healthy heart space, you just love to help. And if you're in love with somebody, if you're in a relationship with somebody, if it's a family member, if it's somebody that you deem worthy, whether you see their de their demon energy on them or not, I don't think you even be seeing the demon energy, to be honest, because I don't think that you would give money or lend help to people who you know are deceitful or, you know, anything of that nature. But I think you see the good in people. Whoever you are, you see the good in people. So, again, you just don't mind helping. But this has happened on so many different occasions in many different ways that you had to be shook to wake up from that. And that's what that's what's happening here. OK, that's what's going on. That's that that you got an awakening. This last situation shook you. It woke you up. It put you in a position where you had to stop and say, wait a minute. I'm the common denominator in all of these situations and all of these experiences and all of these, you know, encounters. It's got to be something that I'm doing. OK, now it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong. It just means that maybe you have to learn to pull back the first time somebody shows you a red flag, okay? Um, everybody's not worthy of you, and everybody's not worthy of you forgiving them. Everybody's not worthy of your benefit of the doubt, but I believe that that's how you've always operated, and um, it, it has just been... It's like the universe is taking up for you right now. The universe is like, no, no more. I, you know, this person can't stop it on their own. So I'm going to stop it for them, even if it has to, you know, uh, shake them and hurt them up a little bit. Because I believe that this last situation, it left you in a financial doozy. Okay. Again, I don't know if they stole from you. I don't know if they just left you in a lot of debt or if you just you know, let them borrow money. Okay. Cause sometimes, you know, lovers allow each other to borrow money. So maybe you allow them, you know, to borrow money or to get money out of your account and they just never paid it back. And now y'all have broken up and you know that you're never going to get it back. See, I think you were dealing with somebody who, you know, was probably full of shit anyway. And, um, and it happens, y'all. It happens. Lord knows it has happened to everybody. What's the song? Everybody plays the fool sometimes. It happens. And none of us are exceptions to that rule. So, but anyway, you know, if this person's energy shows up, I'm definitely going to call them out. But I think what I'm feeling is, is that this message is more so for you, the person who's resonating, okay? So you've had an epiphany, epiphanies okay your light bulb came on your aha moment there's some type of there is something that you learned while in this temporary pause okay you coming off the market or you not dating for a minute or you taking a break and just kind of dealing with with this whole situation I believe that you learned something. Something was something was found out. So let's just keep pulling. I've done a lot, of, a lot of talking, but Spirit said, you know, explain it the way I did. So I, I had to be obedient to that, right? Ah, uh, the reestablishing of the money, the reestablish. So I'm sure some of you are asking the question, well, are, are, is this person going to pay me my money back? Like, okay, for real, are they going to pay me my money back? Or, you know, will I get out of this debt? Or, you know, will the money come back, you know, to me that I did bless somebody? Yes, all of that. Yes, yes, yes. You know why? Because you got the Ace of Autumn here. Okay, that's the Ace of Pentacles, the granting of material gain. Let me tell you something. Your heart space is so pure when you help people that even if somebody runs off with every single dime you got, the universe is going to give you back everything that you lost 100 fold what's the church song everything that the devil stole god's giving it back to me that's what i heard as i was saying that so for those of you that are wondering you know am i going to get out of this debt or will i get the money to pay this debt off or <clears throat> will i receive the fruits of my labor because that person worked you right yes you are going to receive a windfall of money 
okay? A windfall of money. So be not worried about that. Fret, fret not, okay? Fret not. <clears throat> show me more and show me clearly. Thank you. If you're resonating with this message, I would appreciate your, your like, okay? So, okay, the hermit card has come out. The hermit card, Virgo energy, okay? Virgo energy, possibly even Pisces energy. Now, listen, <clears throat> I believe I'm speaking to someone who needs to take a break from not dating, but maybe how you date, if that makes sense, okay? Um, well, okay. Okay. Let me let me let me roll that beautiful bean footage back. It's not that you need to take a break because it's absolutely supported for you to get back out there because the only way to activate this new trust you have, the only way to activate this newfound fortitude that that the ace of of winter gave you is to get back out there. But what I'm hearing is you have to be more committed to yourself and more committed to your own well-being. So you won't stop setting yourself aside, okay? You're overextending yourself. You're putting yourself third, fourth, fifth when you should be putting yourself first. So it's almost like I'm hearing spirits say, you must make a commitment to you. And when you show up like that, that, that kind of encases you. It puts a protection barrier around you. So people who don't necessarily have your best interest at heart, won't even come your way, right? Because there is a, a shield of protection around you against people like that. So some of you need to tap into your own um, spirituality because see, that's where that lives, okay? Um, so there is some, there is some that take a break. It's not that you need to take a break from dating. You just need to take a break from giving so much of yourself and so making yourself so accessible and making yourself so available when you meet these people that it that it uh causes you to again over extend yourself okay you 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 go in too hard i think i'm talking to somebody who soon as you meet somebody and they begin to talk the type of talk that you like okay and you think that their energy is worthy which most times most people's energy ain't worthy okay that's just that's just the times we living in but everybody's not like me i don't think anybody's worthy of a good person okay because there's so many shitty humans right but we can't operate in that energy you know all the time because if so nobody will ever you know befriend people nobody will ever meet people and you won't meet your tribe and some of those other good kindred spirits out there if we move in that but you do have to use discernment so at the end of the day that's what i'm seeing thus far is that your hermit mode that you need to go in just means you need to be very cautious stop extending stop going first in other words, stop going first, okay? Make people prove to you that they are worthy of whatever it is that you have to offer, okay? Show me more, show me clearly. This reading feels easy, okay? It doesn't feel um, heavy or, uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful, the world card. It doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't feel um, dreadful, none of that. It feels, it, it feels encouraging, but it also feels um, like it's coming with some some epiphanies that are that are warnings, almost like it's coming with some flashlights. Okay, so you can cut those light, cut those lights on and shine them on some areas that you've been a little negligent on. Okay, but um, the world card has shown itself. So you have um, three major arcanas the hanged man, the hermit, and the world card. So the world card is just so, it's one of the most beautifulest cards. Now, I personally love the Wheel of Fortune over the world card. But what I do like about the world card, it just lets me know that you're going into a new phase. Like you learned the lesson or you got the memo or you're cycling out of something that you never have to experience again. When the world card shows up, it shows that you are free to go in any direction. Okay. Your journey 
um, you have a, you're starting a new journey and that old journey is complete. Okay. So that means you've learned a lesson. You, the epiphany made sense and you grasped what you needed to know. And when, once you grasp what you need to know, you never have to experience it again. The only time people uh, keep going through the same thing and looping in the same situation, it'd be the same script, just a different cast, are those people who don't get the lesson. Life is just like school, you guys. And you fail. You go back to the grade that um, you are currently in if you don't pass those exams, right? So it's the very same energy life the school of life <laughs> another thing i'm hearing spirits say i'll show i'll show i believe i'm speaking to someone who stays in relationships even when it's no longer healthy it might feel good it, it might have good moments but it's not healthy so I'm hearing spirits say, do not invest in anything that isn't healthy. It doesn't matter if it feels good. It doesn't matter if it looks good. If it's not healthy, then you must, you must leave. Okay. You must, you must know when it's time to go. And I think that I'm speaking to that type of person. And again, I'm not, it's not a blame or pointing a finger. Um, this is, this is. This is to safeguard you so you won't continue to meet people who have these ugly character flaws, right? Because quite honestly, those type of people fuck over people like you. Okay? You're a soft soul. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a kind soul. You don't meet any strangers. You're probably the type of person that meet people in the stores and just start talking. <laughs> or if you're the type of person that goes out, you're the kind of person that, you know, if you're in the bathroom with someone, y'all just start up a conversation. You make people feel good. You give people hope. You're, you're a light. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a light. And you probably come off very easy to talk to. Okay? When these vultures and these predatorial people out here prey on people like you. So you have to get that shield that I was speaking about, right? Get that shield. Get that shield up and around you. That hermit mode that you're going to go in while you're there attaining spiritual um, protection. Just make sure you... Make sure you adopt you a prayer. If you're not the type of person who knows how to just shoot out a prayer on your own, just straight off the top of your own dome, then get in that Psalms and you cover yourself because, again, people like you get targeted and you must protect your light, okay? All right, Spirit, if there's more, show me and show it clearly. I'll show, show it and show it clearly. Um, I do love the fact that you're going to get it all back tenfold, okay? Something's trying to download. Give me just a second. There's a scripture in the Bible that speaks about things being replenished that was taken from you. I'm probably, I don't know it right off the top of my hand and I, off the top of my head and I don't want to screw it up. So, and, and embarrass myself. So what I'm going to do is put it in the description. And maybe that's a scripture that you should recite or repeat um, out of gratitude. Because you're going to get it all back, okay? You're going to get it all back. Now, I just felt, is somebody crying? I just felt, I just felt like a wave of like, like not a sad cry, but like a cry of, like I heard, it's like I felt or heard somebody saying, oh my God, thank you. And, and some crying and some tears. So anyway, sending hugs to you, whoever you are, whoever that was, because that was a very intense feeling. So I know somebody is crying because you probably thought that this person got away with what they did. Like you felt like there was going to be no justice, but the justice, the justice isn't going to come from the law is not going to come. It, the, the justice is your God, your higher self, the universe, source energy, infinite intelligence, whatever you call the energy that you work with God, Jesus, Allah, Jehovah, whomever. Okay. It's all the same, just a different name. They're vindicating you. They're the ones that's going to make sure you get it all back. So open your, open your purse, open your wallet, open your windows. Okay. Cause you're about to receive abundance 
Okay, double for your trouble because what you did for that person or those people, because that's again, I think I'm talking to somebody who does this for everybody. Okay, so it isn't just boyfriends and girlfriends that come into your life and use you. You you might even have family members that do the same. Either way, it doesn't matter because you're sowing seeds. When you give, you give from the heart and you give freely. And when people F over you and don't pay it back or don't give it back when they said they were, it, it doesn't do anything but up your um credit with god right so that's why you're going to get it all back okay because you're doing it from the heart anyway so people like you the universe make sure that they take care of them okay now um uh, yeah listen <laughs> the devil card has come out but And the reason that I'm, I'm I'm pausing is because I know, and I because I just said it, and I, it always takes my breath away when when cards come out that confirm what I literally just said. Because you are the light that shines, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. You have got to be careful because there's devil energy, okay? That literally follows you the energy okay of 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 satan follows you not that it's always able to get you but it's the opposite of you you're the light it's the darkness okay duality does exist in this realm and the reason i'm going so hard on this is because you must i know i'm talking to somebody who's not protecting themselves you just out here in the world lovey dovey willy willy nilly you really free with your energy and that's why you keep getting got. You you got to protect your energy. Okay? You've got to protect your energy. You keep getting caught up with people who are dark and devious. And that doesn't necessarily make them bad. Okay? Their light is just extinguished and yours isn't. But for some reason, you're not able to see their light. It's something about you that... It's not, I'm sorry, not, you're not able to see the darkness on them. It's something about you that only sees their light. And a, a, in a perfect world, that would be a good thing, right? But because we're not in that perfect world, in this realm, people like you have to protect yourselves because you're not always able to see a person for what they really are, okay? I think you could just possibly be the kind of individual that take people for face value. And then they stab you. They sting you, okay? I'm not going to pull any more cards because I feel like what I have said is um, enough and you'll know if this reading is for you because you've made it all the way to the end and you resonated with it, right? But um, again, this reading is very, very encouraging and I also see an elevation, okay? And I love to close readings out knowing that you're not going to be stuck experiencing the same thing over and over because the world card here already is showing me that you're going to cycle out of this and you're going to get it get it get the gifts that you gave to others all back tenfold in abundance okay so get ready get ready get ready get ready because what you are about to receive you deserve it Thank you so much for watching this in its totality. May you receive all this energy back. This is where we part because I am concluding this message. And until we meet again, namaste.